something fundamental in computing just changed. Google has announced a quantum breakthrough so significant, they're calling it quantum echoes, and this might just be the moment quantum computers become truly useful. Their quantum team just ran an algorithm on their Willow chip that's 13,000 times faster than the world's most powerful supercomputers. But that's not even the most shocking part. For the first time in history, a quantum computer has achieved something that is verifiable while beating a supercomputer. Verifiable means you can run the same experiment on another quantum computer and get the same answer every single time. You can even check it against nature itself. Before this, Quantum computers were basically doing party tricks we couldn't fully trust. But this changes the game. The entire story of human discovery has been about understanding nature at every scale, from planets, to cells, to the molecules that power them. Nature's complexity has always been one step ahead of our tools. This breakthrough could finally give us a tool to catch up, a tool to answer profound questions about how our world actually works. To understand why this is such a big deal, you have to get the massive problem that's haunted quantum scientists for decades. Quantum computers don't use normal bits, ones and zeros, but qubits. A normal bit is a light switch, on or off. A qubit is more like a spinning coin, existing in a strange blur of both heads and tails at once. This superposition allows them to explore millions of possibilities simultaneously. But here's the Achilles heel. This quantum state is unbelievably fragile. The tiniest vibration or stray magnetic field can cause the whole system to collapse. A problem called decoherence. It's like trying to perform surgery during a hurricane. For decades, the central challenge has been getting a meaningful answer from a computer so prone to errors. This is why previous claims of quantum supremacy, including one from Google in 2019, were met with skepticism. They showed a quantum computer could do something faster. But the task was an abstract calculation with no real-world use. It was like building a race car that was incredibly fast, but could only drive in a perfect circle. More importantly, it was nearly impossible to check if the answer was right. And if you can't trust the result, what's the point? Until now, quantum computers were stuck in the phase of scientists studying quantum computers. With this breakthrough, that's changed. Now quantum computers are being used to do science on nature itself. So what did Google actually do? The new algorithm is called Quantum Echoes. Think about how bats use echolocation to map out caves. Google basically did the quantum version of that. First, they took their array of qubits on the Willow chip and ran a series of quantum operations called gates forward in time. Then, they poked just one of the qubits, creating a tiny disturbance in the system. After that, they did something that sounds like science fiction. They ran the exact same operations backward, in reverse. This forward and backward evolution causes quantum waves to interfere with each other, creating an echo. This echo pattern reveals hidden information about how the quantum system works. Specifically, it measures something called an out-of-time ordered correlator, or OTOC. An OTOC is a value that measures how information scrambles and spreads throughout a quantum system revealing how different parts of the system interact over both time and space. The reason no one has pulled this off before is that these quantum echoes are incredibly faint and are usually drowned out by noise, like trying to hear a whisper during a rock concert. Measuring an OTOC in a large system was a massive challenge because the signal is buried under layers of quantum errors. This experiment would have been impossible without Google's newest processor, the Willow chip. This isn't just about speed, it's about accuracy. In 2024, Google announced that Willow had helped solve a problem that stumped scientists for 30 years, how to dramatically suppress errors as you add more qubits. The chip is built from superconducting integrated circuits that allow for incredibly precise quantum gates. With Willow, they can run highly complex calculations involving thousands of these gates while keeping errors under control. Think of it like this. If you're trying to hear someone talk in a noisy room, you need good ears. But if you're trying to hear a specific whisper among thousands of conversations, you need superhuman hearing. That's what Willow provides. This precision allows them to strategically reduce noise so the important signals stand out. The speed is also critical. They can perform milliseconds of measurements in under a minute. To filter out noise and confirm their results, they needed massive amounts of data. Over the course of the project, 
they performed one trillion measurements, a massive chunk of all measurements ever done on all quantum computers combined. Here's where it gets practical. Scientists use a technology called Nuclear Magnetic Resonance, NMR Spectroscopy, the same tech behind hospital MRIs, to figure out the shape and structure of molecules. This is vital, because a molecule's shape determines everything it does, from how a drug fights disease to how a battery stores energy. The problem is, NMR has limits. There are interactions it can't see and distances between atoms it can't effectively measure. In a collaboration with UC Berkeley, Google used quantum echoes to predict the structure of two different molecules, one with 15 atoms and another with 28. They then verified these predictions using an actual NMR spectrometer in a lab. The results were a perfect match. But here's the special part. Quantum echoes also revealed information that isn't normally available from NMR. It could measure interactions between atoms at greater distances, accessing data that traditional techniques simply can't reach. This is huge. It means quantum computers aren't just replacing existing tools, they are extending them, showing us things we couldn't see before. It's like we've just invented a new kind of microscope, but for the quantum realm. Understanding molecular structure in this detail is a very big deal because it touches everything. In drug discovery, you need to know exactly how a medicine will bind to its target. To fight a disease, you need to design a molecule that fits into a protein perfectly, like a key in a lock. Right now, that's a slow, expensive process of trial and error. With a quantum computer, you could simulate all of that ahead of time and design the perfect drug from the start. It's the same for material science. Want to design a better battery, a more efficient solar panel, or a superconductor that works at room temperature? You need to understand the quantum interactions at the molecular level. Better tools for seeing molecules mean faster progress in biotech, energy, and beyond. This is what makes this breakthrough fundamentally different from previous claims. In 2019, Google's quantum supremacy demonstration was impressive, but the problem it solved was artificial and had no clear application. This is verifiable quantum advantage with a direct path to real-world use. This is quantum computers being used as scientific instruments to study the world around us. So, what's next? Google is now working on creating a long-lived logical qubit. Right now, Willow uses physical qubits, which are noisy. A logical qubit is an improved version encoded across multiple physical qubits with built-in error correction. If one physical qubit has an error, the system automatically catches and fixes it. This is the endgame, a full-scale, error-corrected quantum computer. But here's what's so exciting about quantum echoes. We don't have to wait for that future. It's a useful application running on today's noisy, intermediate-scale quantum hardware. It proves that even before we have perfect machines, we can start doing valuable science. Google has stated they expect real-world applications from this within five years. That might sound optimistic, but it's based on this breakthrough. They've proven the core algorithm, verified it against real experiments, and shown a massive speed-up. What's left is scaling it, which is hard engineering work, but it's a known path. The progress has been exponential, and each breakthrough accelerates the next. Within five years, we could see the first quantum-enhanced drug discovery platforms or quantum simulations for designing new materials. Google's Quantum Echoes breakthrough represents a genuine shift in the conversation, from, can a quantum computer be faster, to, what scientific problems can we now solve with this verifiable speed? By demonstrating a massive, trustworthy, and repeatable speedup on a real-world scientific task, they have laid the foundation for the first practical applications of quantum computing. We've moved beyond abstract benchmarks and into the realm of verifiable quantum advantage. The road ahead is long, but for the first time, the destination feels less like a distant dream and more like an inevitability. The quantum age is no longer a far-off future. It's starting right now. What do you think is the most exciting potential application for this new era of quantum computing? Is it discovering new medicines, designing world-changing materials, or something else entirely? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.